Hey makers this is Truveen and today I come up with one of the most important update for Power BI from next release means February 2022 if you want to receive latest version of Power BI desktop webview 2 is compulsory so you need to install webview 2 into your machine in this episode I am going to talk about what is webview 2 why microsoft has changed the strategy to make the updates available by webview 2 along with i will provide you the different step to check if webview 2 is already installed in your machine or not stay tuned till the end you will get to know all the information in detail one more important thing if you haven't followed me on my instagram and twitter so far do follow me the links are available over here or maybe in the description box So without further delay let's get started and talk about webview installation for power bi desktop Here I am on my machine and here I have opened one of the official documentation from Microsoft This is the gentle reminder to update yourself with Microsoft Edge WebView 2 if you want to get latest releases from Power BI desktop now from february 2022 onwards we will get power bi desktop update only via webview 2 now the question arises in your mind that what is webview 2 and why microsoft has changed the release plan with webview 2 so let me just give you a bit introduction about microsoft edge webview 2 So, Microsoft Edge WebView 2 control allows you to embed web technologies in your native applications. The WebView 2 control uses Microsoft Edge as a rendering engine to display the web content in the native apps. With WebView 2, we can embed web code in different part of our native app or build all the native app within the single WebView instance. Now, this WebView 2 is something which is supported different type of operating system. like windows 11 10 windows 10 iot enterprise and many more now let me try to explain you why microsoft has introduced this webview 2 as a next part of power bi desktop release so over here in that official documentation it is clearly mentioned that microsoft is making this switch to better optimize of the development and release process it also means that you will always get the latest security patches from webview team you don't need to wait for power bi desktop team for releasing those updates for you now this is the basic information about webview 2 and why microsoft has planned to make this releases via webview 2 now let me try to explain you how to install webview 2 in your machine or If you want to check if webview 2 is already installed your machine how can you check that For that also there is a step by step process for this checking So let me just walk you through with this process The very first step that you need to do here is you need to open your windows machine and you just open the start menu Simply search for control panel So let me open up my control panel over here So I am just opening my control panel. Go to the uninstall program section. Now over here you need to check that if you are able to see Microsoft Edge WebView 2 runtime or not. Here I am able to see this option, which means that WebView 2 is already installed in my machine. Now only one step I need to take into my Power BI desktop, which I will talk you later. If this is not available then you need to move forward with the second step if you are using microsoft 365 applications installed on your machine and you are getting monthly updates you should already have installed with webview 2 so if you are already getting your office apps update regularly you don't need to take any further steps also if you are using windows 11 webview 2 is already installed by default So over here I have Windows 11 on my machine so obviously it is installed in my machine by default but if you are using Windows 10 as i mentioned the steps you can simply check from your control panel also if you install power bi desktop using the exe installer we will install webview 2 on your machine 
So let's say if you have updated your Power BI desktop with the latest release like December 2021 or November 2021, there is a chance that WebView 2 is already installed on your machine. And let's say if you are using Microsoft Store version, if you have administrator privileges, you will be notified. Else, let's say if you don't have administrator privileges, you can simply use this option to download the installer on your machine. So if you click on this particular link, basically it will download the Microsoft Edge web viewer for you. So these are the different installation steps that you need to follow. Most of the time it is possibility that you already have installed with WebView 2 in your machine if you are most of the time running Power BI desktop as a exe installer. Now let's say after the WebView 2 installation has been done or if you are checking that if it is installed in your machine or not, after that you simply need to enable WebView 2 from your Power BI desktop. So make sure that your Power BI desktop should be as the latest version after November 2021 or later. So make sure that your Power BI desktop version is following that thing. Now you simply need to open your Power BI desktop. So here I have opened my Power BI desktop. You simply need to go to the file menu, go to the options and settings, go to options, go to the preview feature and make sure that Power BI Desktop Infrastructure Update feature is activated. If this is not selected and even though if you have already installed WebView 2, still you will not receive the latest update. So make sure that this feature is activated. Click on OK and restart your Power BI Desktop. So these are two important action steps you need to perform in your machine. Make sure that WebView 2 is installed and make sure that Power BI Desktop Infrastructure Update feature is activated. Hope this video helps you and values your time. If so, subscribe my channel and share it with your friends. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. If you are looking for training or consultancy, this is the website. And if you want to follow me on my Twitter, Instagram and any other social media account, all the links are available here. If you are interested for short content on Hindi content on Power Platform, the dedicated channel is here called Digital Dhruvin. Visit my channel homepage and subscribe me over here. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media handles over here. With this, this is Dhruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.